Jonathan and Jeremy, Jonathan and Jeremy, join them on their adventures and stories. Learning new lessons every day, and meeting new friends along the way. It's Jonathan and Jeremy, Jonathan and Jeremy. Sharing is caring. Harvest season had come and it was time for all the animals of the forest to start gathering and storing food for the winter. Jonathan's garden was bursting with carrots, lettuces, legumes, cabbage and more vegetables. Jeremy's fruit trees had given a huge amount of fruits. Their branches sagged down with apples, bananas and a light bloom of summer peaches. He had so many to pick. He had already run out of room in his treehouse to store them. You should really give some of those away, suggested Jonathan, watching Jeremy climb up with another basket full of peaches. Jeremy looked down and shook his head. Give them away? No way. He disappeared inside with the basket and did not come back for a while. Jonathan could hear him murmuring inside, fruits rolling around, loud bumps, and saw a few fruits fly out of the window. As the days went by, Jonathan insisted on the idea of Jeremy giving some of his fruits away. Many animals hadn't been as lucky as they were. Jeremy refused to change his mind, even if some of the fruit was starting to spoil. Winter's first frost came early this year. Many of the animals lost their crops because of the cold. There was even less food for the animals to keep them through the winter, and Jeremy's trees were still full of ripening fruits. Mr. Jeremy, can we have some of your tasty apples, please? asked a tiny bird and his sister. No, go ask Mr. Grizzly. He has plenty to spare, shrieked Jeremy, jumping over to his trees protectively. The birds flew away with lowered heads. Mr. Grizzly's last apples were damaged by frost, commented Jonathan. He has none left to share. Well, these are all mine, exclaimed Jeremy, plucking an apple off and tossing it up and down. The next day, Mama Chimp swung by Jeremy's home with her baby. Bananas! I want, I want! cried out Baby Chimp. They had a difficult time finding fruit in the forest since the frost, and both Mama Chimp and her baby were very hungry. When Mama Chimp asked Jeremy, he narrowed his eyes and shrieked, No, find your own. These are mine! Baby Chimp started to cry loudly. Feeling bad for him, Jeremy plucked off a banana and tossed it to him, saying, Now, get lost! Being selfish is a terrible thing, remarked Jonathan, happily munching on a carrot. I'm glad you shared at least one. Jeremy felt annoyed for having to share his bananas. He went to the top of his tree, picked every single fruit left and spent the afternoon stuffing his face with as many as he could. He thought if he ate them all, no one would ask him to share again. The more he ate, the queasier his stomach felt, and the more his thoughts swirled around the happy face of the baby chimp eating the banana. He couldn't deny it to anyone, sharing had felt strangely good. Suddenly, his stomach rumbled really loud. Jeremy felt his swollen stomach wiggle, and even more upset. Eating so much fruit had given him stomach ache. He felt ashamed of asking for help, so he stayed home, his stomach growling even more upset. The next morning, he called Jonathan over and asked, Can you find Dr. Owl and bring her here, please? Jonathan nodded and shortly after returned with Dr. Owl flapping over his head. The doctor wasn't too happy for being disturbed during her resting hours. She looked over Jeremy's stomach. It had grown to the size of a big balloon and ached wherever she touched it. She hooted and frowned, and looking over the rim of her glasses declared, You have a case of upset stomach because of all the fruit you ate. Jeremy whimpered. Can it be cured? Dr. Al hooted with laughter and said, Some ginger tea and honey should make it all better. When Dr. Al left, Jonathan went to ask for ginger and honey. When he returned, it was for Jeremy. Everyone said, No. Even Mr. Grizzly. Jeremy felt so bad, he realised sharing was an important thing. Looking at his leftover fruit, which had made his stomach flop, gave him an idea. He called Jonathan again and asked him to help offer his leftover fruit in exchange for ginger and honey. Jonathan informed the animals and many gathered at the base of the tree to get a share of fruits. Watching their happy thankful faces made Jeremy feel very happy. Sharing wasn't so bad. 
In return, Mr. Greasley's wife made him a tasty ginger tea with honey that made his stomach feel great. Hi, I'm Natalie. You're listening to our audiobook at jonathanjeremy.com. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this story. Thank you. I'll see you again.